Well, hello and good day, toy fans, and welcome to Super Awesome Toys. My name is Panama Sartan, and today's review is of the Power Lords, Power Soldiers, and Graptic Grunts by the Four Horsemen. All Power Lord offerings so far have come packaged in polybags like this, with an individually numbered sticker with a picture of Lord Power and Grip Top front and center. The other side of the bag shows the figure within. The Graptic Grunts also come packaged in individually numbered bags with the same sticker as the Power Soldiers, but in this latest release they come in thinner bags that feel like cellophane. It gives the packaging a dollar store feel, but since these figures are meant to be opened, that's not such a big deal. So grab a pair of scissors and open these guys up. You can always wait for the soon to be released carded figures if you want to display them that way. The power soldiers have some fairly good points of articulation. Here, let's take a look. The head is on a ball joint, so you get a lot of movement out of it. The arms can go up and down and rotate all around. There's a hinge joint at the elbow, so it goes up and down, and it can also rotate. The wrist is on a simple swivel joint. There are swivel joints at the hip so their legs can only go forwards and backwards. They have hinged knees that can bend and can also rotate, and the same can be said about his ankles. Now, the Graptic Grunt's articulation is practically the same as that of the Power Soldiers. The head is on a ball joint, so you're gonna get the same type of movement as the Power Soldier. The arms can go up and down, forwards and backwards, and yes, his thumb did pop out by itself. Because of the armor here, you're not gonna get a lot of movement out of his arms. The armor is not super rigid, but it's not soft either, so it will get in the way of the articulation. Moving on, the elbow can bend and rotate, and all hands are on swivel joints. And yeah, the elbow just popped out by itself. On the original grip top from the 80s, you had individual articulations for these forearms. There's a swivel at the waist, so the body can rotate side to side. His legs are on swivel joints at the hip, so they can go forwards and backwards, but his armor again gets in the way of the articulation here. The leg can bend backwards a lot though. There's also a hinge joint at the ankles, which can bend and rotate. And for the third time, he has popped the joint out. This is one gripe I have with these grunts. Some of their joints don't have a snug fit, and they easily pop out. Another thing worth mentioning is that this skirt piece, which hinders the leg movement, is present in 4 out of 5 grid top variants, except for the Graptic Sergeant here. He doesn't have that skirt piece, and I gotta say I prefer it this way. You get a lot of leg articulation out of the Sergeant without this piece. All the Power Soldiers released so far share the same body, which is also Adam Power's body. The six releases so far all have come in different colors. The first two released are the 2013 PowerCon exclusive Power Soldier, cast in black with red paint apps on the visor, chest emblem, and belt. 
that's one other thing present in all six figures. They all share the same places for paint-ups. Please keep in mind that these figures are considered pre-releases and are not the fully painted figures that we'll start getting soon. The 2013 PowerCon exclusive Elite Power Soldier is cast in bright white plastic with black paint-ups. The second Power Soldier set released were the Slate Zone Power Soldiers, with the Power Soldier cast in grey with black paint. This is my favorite soldier release so far. The Elite Slate Zone Power Soldier is cast in tan, with an orange visor and black emblem and belt. It is the first soldier release with two different color paint-ups. The latest release of the Power Soldiers are the Ophidian Squad Power Soldiers. In this release, the regular Power Soldier is cast in blue with a gray visor, red chest emblem, and black belt. Three different colors on him. If you didn't get the joke, this release is called Ophidian Squad because of the color of this soldier are the same for, well, this other guy. The Elite Ophidian Squad Power Soldier is cast in red with his visor and emblem painted silver and a black belt. Of all the figures released so far, the Elite Ophidian Squad Power Soldier is the one that, in my opinion, looks the cheapest. It might be the red color, which makes him look like a knockoff toy. I don't know, but this color, for me, is not as appealing as the other five. Now, for the Graptic Grunts, the first two released were the 2013 PowerCon exclusives, cast in purple and pink. It's these two guys in the back here. They have black paint-ups in the eyes, belt, and on the buttons of his chest strap. As for the sculpt, it is out of this world. The fleshy bits on the graptic grunts are covered with wrinkles. They have some spikes protruding from the forearms and ankles. The heads on these two guides are helmeted. There's also a lot of sculpted detail on the uniform. On this last release, we got these two guys, the graptic sergeant and another graptic grunt in reverse colors. They're cast in black and green with more paint-ups this time around. The Graptic Sergeant has his eyes, spikes, and fingernails painted red, his belt and pants painted gray, his head tech painted green and blue, and the other techy bits on his chest in yellow, blue, and orange. Lots of paint-ups on this guy. As for his head, it is unhelmeted, and we can see his fearsome face. He has some tech on each ear that I'm guessing are some sort of communication devices. I absolutely love his face sculpt. The graptic grunt of this release has red paint ups in the eyes and some smaller detailed parts of his suit, gray belt and pants, and black fingernails and spikes. The head sculpt is the same helmeted head we got with the 2013 PowerCon exclusive graptic grunts. The last figure in this release is the Barlow Color Concept Grip Tug, and it's the first time we get a Grip Tug released in the line that is not a variant as with the Graptic Grunts. He is cast in all black, with red paint apps on his eyes, fingernails, spikes, and in some small parts of his uniform. His pants and belt are painted gray. His face is also bare and looks similar to the Graptic Sergeant's. All six Power Soldiers released so far include the same weapons in different colors. A Power Staff in silver for the 2013 PowerCon exclusive Power Soldiers, and a rifle cast in the same color. The rifle has amazing detail, but it is a bit too thin. It's also a lot sturdier than the staff. For the Slate Zone Power Soldiers, we get the same weapons cast in black. And for the recently released Ophidian Squad Power Soldiers, we get grayish blue weapons. As for the Graptic Grunts, 
4 out of the 5 released so far share the same weapon with different colors. The guns include this wicked looking long handled warhammer. The warhammer is a two piece accessory, as you can remove the head from the handle. The top of the staff has a glyos pin which makes it compatible with other glyos figures. The purple and pink warhammers were included with the 2013 PowerCon exclusive Graptic Grunts. The recently released Graptic Sergeant and Graptic Grunt include the same warhammer, this time cast in all black with the top painted blue for the sergeant. It is also two pieces since it's the same weapon. The new Graptic Grunt includes the same weapon but the top is painted red this time. Now the Barlow color concept grip tuck here includes the Warhammer with a shorter handle. I gotta say that I prefer this version of the Warhammer over the other. It's also a two piece accessory with the same glass pin. Both the Power Soldiers and the Graptic Grunts use a modified Glio system dubbed Glybrid by the Four Horsemen. It is basically a Glio spin attached to a hinge, which allows the figures to have a broader range of motion than conventional Glio figures. Now, if you don't know what the Glio system is, it's a universal socket and joint system designed by Matt Dowdy from O'Neill Design, which allows for parts interchangeability, letting you customize your figures however you see fit. Each individual piece on the Power Lords figures and in Glyos figures in general can be popped out and exchanged with other parts. This gives you great flexibility when it comes to displaying your figures. There are two caveats though. The first one is that since some parts of the figures like the elbows, wrists and ankles on the soldiers are too thin, the four horsemen had to use smaller Glyos pins for these areas. This makes it impossible to use with regular sized glio sockets. The second caveat is that there are some areas like the shoulder sockets that are recessed and made specifically for parts meant to be plugged into them. These two issues limit our ability to customize our power lure somewhat. That's definitely not a deal breaker though, since the figures look amazing as they are. The Power Lords line from the Four Horsemen is a great update to an obscure action figure line from the 80s and being made in the 3 and 3 quarter inch scale was a great choice since it makes this figure accessible to collectors and makes them compatible with other lines of this scale. Recently at the 2014 New York Toy Fair, the Four Horsemen revealed new Power Lords figures. Of the figures revealed, one worth mentioning is the Power Soldier Assassin because of one thing ball jointed hips. I was wishing for ball jointed hips since the line debuted and now we're getting them with the power soldier assassin. I just hope we can get upgrade kits for the figures we already have so they too can have ball jointed hips. The power soldiers are available for purchase directly from the four horsemen's website at www.shopforhorsemen.com. As of this recording, the 2013 PowerCon exclusive Power Soldiers and Graptic Grunts and the regular Slate Sun Power Soldier are sold out, but all the other figures are still available for purchase. This line is definitely worth checking out. So guys, if you like this review, don't forget to share, like and subscribe for more super awesome toys.